Wanted is a great company that has killer products and great bags. And recently, they redesigned and did some upgrades to their Wandered Provoke or Perverky pack. The 21 liter, the 31 liter, released a 41 liter, and then this little guy, the Provoke Lights. This is an 11 liter version of their normal Provoke pack. Slimmed down, no camera cube that's removable. The same features and functions with all the new upgrades that they gave the Provoke line that makes for one heck of a killer everyday minimal camera and just an all around phenomenal bag that I have found myself enjoying more than I had enjoyed the original Provoke. Let's get into it. Okay, now when I say this might be my new everything bag, I mean this might be my new photography, daily carry, overnight, just all around everything bag because for me personally, and I'll show you all the functions, bells and whistles and how I have it loaded out, this bag solves a lot of the problems that I face when it comes to a daily carry, organization, comfort, and all the factors that go into it. One of the things I've always liked about the Provoke bag was that it was a very simple design with plenty of storage, minimal organization, and a little bit of an expandable roll top as well. First, I wanna walk you through some of the upgrades that Wander did because these upgrades, like I said, translate to all the other Provoke bags. And I decided to take, when they offered me a chance to kind of see this, I was like, I want the Provoke light. I already have a 21, I already have a 31. I don't need a 41. Let's do an 11 liter and see how this thing goes. Cause I heard a lot of people say, oh, it seems a little small. Well, it's an 11 liter bag that with the roll top expansion goes up to an 18 liter. I have found that 11 liters with the camera cube that they have built inside of this, like I said, it's not removable. It is plenty of space and plenty of organization for your daily carry needs, as well as the minimal photographer. Another thing I will note is I have the camera cube mini from Wandered. I tried to see if that would fit on the top portion of this. It will not. It does fit, however, in the 21 and I believe the 31 liter, my little mini camera cube that I got from Wandered. So any additional camera cubes that you have from Wandered will not work with this bag. So one of the major upgrades that I noticed right away with this bag that I definitely felt a difference in is this upgraded back panel. Before, they didn't have the mesh, they didn't have the air channel, it was a very flat and simple back. Now unfortunately, I don't have my 21 liter to kind of show you a comparison because as some of you know, I recently moved and everything is like in storage except for the bags that I'm currently getting sent, so I'm not able to do a comparison. And it'd be a couple months before I actually get everything out of storage, so I didn't want to wait that long. But right off the bat, better straps and a better back system. I already noticed I was walking around for about an hour with my dog doing some photography and stuff. And this bag is fully loaded out with all of my photography gear. And it probably clocks in maybe around eight to 10 pounds. And I walked around for an hour and I actually didn't even take my bag off. I ended up just enjoying the walk with my puppo because he was a little excited guy and had a great time rolling around in the grass and everything. And it actually never became uncomfortable, which is interesting because for me, the 21 liter Provoke, when I took it on hikes and such, loaded out with my camera gear as well as some extra daily carry gear, I found that bag that after an hour definitely became a little bit uncomfortable. Now granted that is a 21 liter, but even at an 11 liter bag, weighing this thing down, the fact that it has the support and the comfort for a small bag that can weigh just as much as a 21 liter in terms of gear makes it very, you know, it's kind of just nice, honestly. But super nice back panel that breathes really nice. I like the straps. They didn't change much. They uh, sternum straps pretty much the same. Uh, for reference, I am 5'8", 180 pounds and this bag is phenomenal. It's not too big, it's not too small. For people with smaller frames, I think this bag is gonna work really well. It's a great alternative to some of those larger frame bags that you've been seeing. Maybe the 21 and the 31 are just a little bit too big for you, and you want the same kind of style, but a little bit smaller. I think that this is the answer to that question that Wander did really, really well. If you've already seen the Provoke bag, you already kind of know what you're getting with this. I'm gonna walk you through what I have in here. The rest of the major changes that I wanna point out are on the inside. So this front compartment is just a flat panel, right? And I have found this to be really well used, used really well 
for something like my battery charger. And then what I end up putting in here are my extra little, um, little, little guys, right? So I have my SD card case, a battery card case, and then an extra little notebook. These with the power bank just kind of spread out nicely. I found that they, that this is pocket is, is tight enough with, with this internal com camera cube that I keep mentioning. You don't have to worry about it being too soft, that it actually keeps enough pressure up against the front here that these things actually just kind of stay. If I, if I just kind of throw them in here, that they, they don't, they don't really fall. They don't really fall down. And I know exactly batteries. I know exactly what I'm getting. SD card, my notebook and battery charger. Great little pocket for smaller devices. Small iPads would fit in there. Uh, notebooks, like I said, little small pouches, thinner objects for this front admin compartment. Also forgot to mention up top, YKK zippers, weather guard zips on everything in this bag. The tarpaulin material, all of it is a very weather resistant and a very nice bag. It's gonna survive the elements. You don't have to worry about that. That's why I love Wandered. All of their products, like they just, you can take them in a monsoon and I'm pretty sure you'd be for the most part okay. Speaking of uh, monsoons, I guess, is on the Wandered Provoke 21 liter, there's a spot below for the Rainfly. You do not get that on the 11 liter. That is a difference. I'm not sure if they kept that on the 21 and 31 liters, but for the 11, that is not, that's not, that's not a thing. It's not here, it's not, it doesn't exist. Another quick thing that I like that they did is on these straps, you have uh, Wander More, Worry Less, which some of you might recognize as one of my wonderful tattoos. Uh, Wander More, Worry Less. Uh, I love that, that they added that to this thing because their whole thing is wandered, right? What you also have is an expandable water bottle pocket. Here's just a normal water bottle I kind of threw in there. You can also fit smaller tripods, but if you also just want to not have anything, you can zip this in and it becomes flush with the side of the bag. Now you do have the elastic in here, so it does expand a little bit. But for those of you that use like larger water bottles, cause like the one I have, it's kind of pushing it. Larger water bottles are going to be a little bit too much. You also have the spot in three different locations across the front, two on the front and one on the bottom for uh, accessory straps that Wandered has. Super great if you wanna bring a larger tripod, maybe throw your jacket on the outside, anything like that works really well. Like I said, you have the two straps up here. They also changed, and this I think this is mainly for the 11 liter, the size of this buckle for getting access into the roll top. This thing used to be massive, like you could beat somebody with it. Um, they definitely changed that a little bit, um, added Wandered on it. I don't remember that being on the 21 liter, but made it smaller kind of to fit this bag a little bit better. And the other thing you have is down here at the back, you have the quick access compartment. They actually, uh, I don't, and again, I don't remember because the 21 liter has been a while, but they made this a soft line compartment. So this is where I've put um, iPod Pros, and some little things for gimbals, and then an extra, my, my extra key. Just kind of threw it in there. Great spot for phone, uh, sunglasses, keys if you're on the go. One thing about this pocket, and I've always pointed this out, is that this dimension is in the main compartment. So if your main compartment is super packed out, this pocket's going to be very tight, which makes it not so ideal for sunglasses and stuff. Um, if you don't have this super packed out and this pocket's a little bit looser, then I would go ahead and throw sunglasses in there. But if it's tight, it's something that I always caution against because I feel like it's a little bit too tight for glasses and it does make me just a wee bit concerned. But you see that a lot with these kind of compartments that the dimensions on the inside, if you pack it out, it kind of eats up that quick access. Same thing on the side as well. You have the quick access into the camera cube that you can easily open. I'll show you the inside of that. And with that, I think we can go ahead and just go ahead and just ahead, go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and open this. So full clamshell kind of style, right? And then opens up. And this is the spot that they changed that I think was incredibly for the battle. Battle, 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 battle. Was, um, for one, this will fit my 13 inch MacBook Pro. I'm currently using it for audio. Um, so I can't show you, but if it's a 13 inch MacBook Pro, I think the largest you can go is 15, but I'm not sure. I'll throw it up on the screen. I will double check, but I think 13 inch might be the limit on that. But they added some organization on this pocket. Before, it was just this and a spot for a tablet, and that was it. But they went ahead and added two little guys up here at the top that are perfect. I got like my drone certification card, some extra cables, um, extra cables for my drone uh, 
a remote, and then in this one, just all my extra kind of like drone uh, pieces, right? So just two, now this is nothing, ignore this, this pocket ends right here. So you wanna be wary, wary of that. But they added some organization, and even though it's small, not a lot of dimension, I think that is really, really good because for cables and other small accessory items that you might have as a photographer or as a drone pilot or as EDC, you can even fit like your keys, and headphones, you can fit all kinds of stuff that's smaller, your smaller items right in there. And because this is at the top, you have kind of that quick access where you just unzip a little bit and at least these top two are right here if you need them. And the thing to keep your laptop secured isn't in the way. So that is one of the other changes that I think that, that really improved the Provoke line because the extra organization, though for me, and maybe some of you, you know, the, the lack of organization was not big of a deal because you're running pouches or, you know, you're not worried about organizing every little piece, but just adding a little extra organization to a bag that was already really solid, I think elevates it a little bit higher. And part of the reason I'm so in love, especially with the smaller one, because it fits everything I need. And now I have a little bit of extra organization for things that I don't want to put in pouches. I like that. I'll show you, this is the internal camera cube right? Just going to show you, this is everything that I bring with me. I've got my telescopic lens, my nifty 50, my Canon M50 with my 23 millimeter lens, my extra accessory pouch for my pocket two, my DJI Osmo action, all the extra dongles. I've got my battery charger for my Canon, battery charger for my Mavic mini two, my controller for my mini two, and then my actual mini two. I named my drone BZ because it makes a little B sound when you fly it. So Super big fan of that. But this is everything I need to go out and film, to do a photo shoot. Anything I really need, this is what I'm using. This is my setup, this is my loadout, right? Now, I could probably fit more camera gear if I took out this pouch, but I like having this pouch in my camera cube rather than up here, just because I, I don't know, it just, for me, that's just where I like to have it. Now, if this was like a removable camera cube, maybe I would throw it somewhere else. But this is all built in. All this whole area is built in. There is no flap that you can fold down like you used to be able to do in the 21 and the 31 liter. They took out that for this one. It's all one thing. And then you have the same kind of flap to get to the up, upper upstairs of this, which is where I have an accessory case. I'll show you that when I open up the roll top. But this is the main compartment. This is what you get with the 11 liter. To me, this is still the amount of stuff that I could have brought in the 21 liter with the original camera cube right? I don't feel like I'm sacrificing what I'm bringing. I'm just able to condense it down into a smaller, lighter, and easier to use pack on the go. Now, if you wanted to do something like travel or a weekend trip with photography, I don't think the 11 liter is the way to go. I think that is where you'd want to get into like the 21 and maybe even the 31 liter. Again, I think it really depends on A, how much camera gear you're bringing with you and B, how much you're bringing with you in terms of toiletry kit, tech kit, you know, how many clothes, extra shoes, things like that, because then at that point, you might even wanna look at the 41 liter. If you like the way this bag is, you now have anywhere from 11 to 41 in options there with the expandability of the roll top. So I think that Wander did a really good job of expanding the sizes out of this line, making custom camera cubes, because they have some that'll fit up the whole, the whole size of like the 21 and 31 liter, the bottom, the top, you have just tons of options and tons of organization that I think really elevate this pack that used to be pretty simple and basic but got the job done to a bag that's not so simple and basic and kind of crushes getting the job done. Also, color-wise, should have mentioned this, I got this in the Gobi Glow tan. Also comes in like a green, blue, and I think black as well. But same old, same old when it comes to the roll top, right? You can go up to like pretty much here with it without like sacrificing the ability to latch it. And then all I have up top here is like a little towel in case the ground is wet. And then I have my Peter McKinnon uh, accessory cube thing that I just have like my extra camera straps, battery chargers, things like that. Just, I don't know, things that I, I like to keep with me. And I just dig this pouch quite a lot from that original line, right? And then that is essentially in a nutshell the Provoke 11 liter light bag. So with that, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Or you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com.
gmail.com. And I'm always happy to send over, you know, suggestions, lists, more in depth, whatever you need, something that's not re repliable, repliable in a comment, shoot over an email. I'm, I'm always trying to answer them. If I miss them, I apologize. Um, happy to help, right? You can also support me on Patreon. Link that below if you want like giveaways, uh, extra content, polls, things like that, um, news, anything like what's going on. What's going on? What's what's Odie up to, right? Because there's a lot of things going on in my life right now. Um, again, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Like and subscribe. Also, um, we passed 1,500 subscribers. I was going to put in like a graphic, but... I think that was way better. So I'm about to, after I, as soon as I get done recording this episode video thing, I'm gonna record the 1500 subscriber giveaway and I'm gonna try to launch that on uh, like Wednesday or sometime this week. Um, I'm not gonna commit to a day, but sometime this week and that's gonna run for about two weeks. Normally is how I run the giveaways. Instructions will be in that video and it's a chance to win a couple bags, which is awesome. So don't forget to do that. Also, thank you for 1500 subscribers. That's insane and amazing and I love it and I love all of you so very much. So. With all of that, I will see you next time.